Welcome to another episode of Money Wisdom. I'm Rolf Dobelli, author of The Art of Thinking Clearly, which explains thinking errors. I'm here to talk about the neglect of probability. Look at two games of chance. In the first game, you can win $10 million. In the second, $1,000. Which do you play? Winning the first game changes your life. Quit your job and live off the winnings. If you win the second game, you can take a nice vacation in Kerala, but you'll be back at your desk in time to see your postcard arrive. The probability of winning the first game is one in a hundred million, and in the second game, it's one in a thousand. So which do you choose? Our emotions draw us to the first game, though the second is objectively 10 times better. Then why do our emotions draw us to the first game? Because we are attracted to outcomes and we neglect probabilities. Somehow, probabilities don't really compute in our brain. We respond to the expected magnitude of an event, the size of a jackpot, the size of an earthquake, the promise of a great profit of an investment, but not to its likelihood. We lack an intuitive grasp of probability. The proper term for this cognitive flaw is neglect of probability, and it leads to errors in decision making. How does the neglect of probability apply to investment decisions? Many amateur investors weigh investments solely on the basis of yield. For them, property with a return of, say, 20% seem twice as good as stocks that return 10%. That's wrong. A smart investor considers the risk of both options. But we have no natural feel, no intuition for risk, so we often ignore it. Here is what you can do about this problem as an investor. Number one. With every investment, consider the risk. Don't just look at the potential return. Number two, risk is difficult to measure. We lack an intuitive sense of probability and risk. We also lack a trusted measuring stick. How do you get around this problem? Look at the core fundamentals. Ask yourself, what could go wrong? Number three, factor in a margin of safety. Because risk is so difficult to assess, always assume that the real risk is higher than what you think it is. Number four, use red, yellow, green scale when making investment decisions in mutual funds. Red means the market is overvalued, green means the market is undervalued, yellow means it's just about right. PE, that's the price earnings ratio to determine the color level. For example, if the market has a price earnings ratio of 13, we are in the green zone, and that's a pretty depressed market. Many people panic at that level. But a little look at market history would suggest that the probability of the market to go up from there is huge. In a depressed market, most investors ignore the probabilities that the market throws up in their favor and stay on the sidelines. To sum up, emotionally, we respond to an event's magnitude, but we are blind to its likelihood. We dangerously lack an intuitive grasp of probability and risk. Make up for that with facts and the margin of safety. Thank you. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully. To watch more videos about making wiser money decisions, click one of these links here. Mm -hmm.